drives. And then we install mated queens. Sometimes we'll start with a cell, not often. However, all of our cells are reared in full strength colonies for the last few days. So this probably just fell off a bar. But who knows? Could have been one of those that we did start with a cell. It does happen. All right, so that's going back in this colony. Is that right? Is that right? It came out of this one? Does anybody remember? Does this one have the European on it? This one came out of that colony. No, that didn't have the problem out there, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> No, it came out of there, yeah. But it, it's a... It must have snuck in somewhere. You know what I would do? I wouldn't worry about it. So this is this is one of the... This is a good lesson in your, your first experience in bees. Okay. A lot of people panic when they have a bee on the inside of the veil. What you've got to recognize is most of the time when the bee's on the inside of the veil, if it hadn't already stung you, it's more interested in getting out than anything. And if you spend a lot of time trying to get it out, you might just let five or six more that really do want to sting you in. Right. This is where being the bottom comes in. Mm-hmm. How do we get in there? All right, so um, we can't leave these colonies open for long, but we do need to go in and find some honey, right? So we did have one really good hive on the pallet, right? It was better than all the others. So let's go get our help and let's do it in a hurry. Now we've already been in this hive once today. So anytime you have to go back in a colony you've already been in, you need to be prepared for them to resent the intrusion more than they did the first time. All right? Because they get fed up, you know? And because we found this uh, queen once before, we are going to uh, make sure she didn't get back in the colony and end up right on top on the lid where when we take the lid off we end up leaving her on the ground. She wouldn't make it back in. She might. But you don't want to risk it. Right. Alright, so what needs the help the worst guys? Yeah. Women. only had one colony we could help that would be the one and so what are we going to give it honey honey there you go all right now we haven't seen the queen right honey yep we practice socialist beekeeping <laughs> Mix up some sugar water <laughs> and get on with it. All right, so get the lid back on it because we don't want to get robbing started. Okay. This has got a little bit of honey on it. We don't really want to put that back in this is there, is there a point at which you kind of practice well, survival of the fittest? You know, if it's too far to try to bring it back, you just say... Yeah. Uh-huh. I wouldn't say we've reached that point with this one yet. No, no, I don't. This did come out of here, right, guys? Yes. That was what came out of did, you, did you all see eggs? No. Okay. Right in here. Okay. Spend some more time looking at that. Get the sun coming in over your shoulder. Nobody else see them? Yeah, the tilt of light to be able to get Yeah, I see it. All right. Now, what did that hive need? Y'all remember? It had a bunch of youngsters. It didn't have. It didn't have seal brood, right? Right. right. And this colony had abundant seal brood, if you'll re recall, right? Yes. We, Hit a ton of it. This is honey and seal brood. That's got some seal brood, mostly younger stuff though. That's got some younger stuff. Notice that I'm pausing to smoke more frequently because this is one of those colonies we were in for a while, right? Okay, I'm liking this. It's got eggs and seal brood, and look at there. We got the queen right here. Okay, we got 
lucky. Why is that lucky? Didn't put her in here. Because I. Well, not only that, I can add the bees along with the brood. Well, we sure hope so. Again, I'm taking care to put my brood back in the middle, right? This is an old, ugly comb. I don't cull combs just because they have dark wax, like a lot of people advocate. Dark wax merely means that they've been rearing brood in it for a long time. The wax slowly absorbs the proteins from the chitin of the bee's exoskeleton, and that's what makes it dark, okay? But when I see an old comb like that that's been around forever, and it's broken. See, it's already been nailed back together yeah. at least once, and it's broken again. It's probably time to get rid of it. Let's see which. I think it was like this. So numbering or color coding is probably a good idea. Right. I often ride on my colonies, mm -hmm. right? I'm not going to put the uh, finish glue back on. I'm not. Now you can do that if you're about to add a honey super and you want to make sure you don't have any brood in your honey super. You don't have to do that. The other thing I've got to do is I've got to figure out why this lid is riding up like that. What was the problem there? I don't know, but you, know, you can't leave it like that because then robber bees will come fly right underneath the lid and take advantage of that already weak colony. Want to hive a package real quick? Sure. Oh, it's mine, I got it. <laughs> I won't drink the bee. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can pour the bees out of the cage, or you can just set the package down in the hive and let them crawl out. The most important thing to remember is make sure they can get to the queen. When we get ours? Mm -hmm. This is how they're gonna come when we get ours? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. Sometimes you can pull that out. Okay, and here's one of the things you have to look for when you get home, okay, with your package. If you encounter this, uh -oh. you need to contact us immediately, right? Because yep. you can't really... She's dead. She got stuck in the candy. Now, this package was produced for somebody who was supposed to pick it up last Saturday, and they didn't come. And so this hive, this package has been in there much longer than we'd like for it to have been at this point, right? But you got a bunch of dead bees in the bottle. Mm-hmm, that's right. So this is, uh, it's, uh, it's still an intolerance. And most of the time we, we put enough, this, this package was a weak package, that's why it was held back for this guy who didn't show up, just because usually when people don't come, when they're supposed to, they don't come at all. <clears throat> Either that or I'm going to there, eventually right. get through it. So a couple of things to, okay, if we, uh, if we still had that tag on there, one of the ways to deal with this situation is to put the queen cage hanging between two frames, okay? Since we don't, we're going to leave the queen in there. We're going to clean the dead bees out. Why am I leaving the queen in there? 
Well, it'll help them stay together most of the time. They will keep the bees from just absconding long enough for you to get a replacement clean from us or from somebody else. Okay? Now, this is not what I would normally do if I was just hiving the package, right? I'm doing this because I'm trying to get rid of these dead bees instead of putting them in my hive. So I'm just going to remove the screen from one side of the package. When you pick up a hive, how long do you have before you need to get it in your hive in your hive? You mean a package? A package. Yeah, the sooner the better. There's always a... Makes great fertilizer for your garden. It's about the only consolation prize there. And they die because the, because the queen dies. Um, no, this. So again, this has been sitting around for a long time, and uh, the syrup is designed to dispense slowly while the package is in transit. It's not really the ideal way to do it if the package is just sitting there, because it can pull a vacuum and get a vacuum lock on there, and then the syrup stops dripping out so most of these bees probably just ended up starving. starving. All right. That's okay. We can remedy the situation. There's still enough here to start a hive with. Leave it just like that. This in here to provide some flotation devices for the bees. 